Two questions. Um, first of all, the president frequently visits the sites of many natural and man-made disasters. And this situation in East Palestine has clearly required a multi-agency uh, response from the federal and the state level. So I guess I'm just struggling to understand why the president wouldn't go to East Palestine. It, does it simply not meet the bar for a presidential visit? This must be a rhetorical question. It's pretty obvious why Biden didn't visit this site in East Palestine. Same reason he didn't visit the Christmas parade attack site in Wisconsin in 2021. He doesn't have voter blocks there to meet with. And most importantly, no virtue signaling opportunity for the visit. Look, I don't, I, I, it's, I want to be very clear here. <laughs> It's, it, I want to be very clear here. Um, there's no reason to struggle, I don't think, on this question. <laughs> then why are you struggling, Corrine? I think when you look at how the federal agents, agencies have responded from day one and took this very seriously uh, and reacted it, within hours of the derailment and was on the ground, uh, this is the Environmental Protection Agency, as I was saying. They are the ones uh, that deal with these types of chemical spills. They are the ones that are the leaders on this. Uh, and not, it didn't stop with the environmental... You are right there, buddy? What I want to say is that it didn't stop with the Environmental Protection Agency. Again, FEMA, yeah, CDC. No. Oh! No, it's, I, I, look, I, I want to be very clear here. I don't, again, I don't have anything to share on a presidential visit. Uh, I, not at this time or anything to announce, but it does matter that the president put forth a multi-agency uh, uh, kind of reaction to this, well, taking it seriously. Showing up, right? Oh! I, look, showing up is having the Environmental Protection Administrator on the ground. Showing up is having the DOT Secretary on the ground to talk about what 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 is the next process, holding holding to account the company that caused the spill. That's what you're seeing from Secretary Buttigieg today. I do think it's great that Pete Buttigieg, the Transportation Secretary, is there. Probably should have taken three weeks for him to be there. Um, you know, he said, look, you know, some people just show up and it causes a distraction. That's true for a president, perhaps, but it's not true for a, a transportation secretary. Oh!